In this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about multicam setup of Sony monitor and control app. And for that, I used three different Sony cameras because their menus are a bit different when we are setting them up with Sony monitor and control app. So you'll have all the solutions at the end of this video. For that, I took two Sony FX3 cameras, one Sony A7S III and one Sony FX6. So multicam setup of Sony monitor and control app is so helpful because you can record and stop all the cameras on the same time as well as you can set exposure looking at all the cameras on the same time and it is very helpful when you do it this way because then you'll know like which camera is a bit overexposed or underexposed. On top of that you can change camera settings like ISO, shutter angle, frame per second, color temperature and many more other things like course stop the camera, focus settings and all these things so it is very helpful to be honest and now let me just show you how really you can do that first of all you need an ipad not an iphone and then you need a portable router a small portable router now fx6 is different than sony fx3 and sony a7s3 menus wise so i'm gonna start with fx6 if you're not having sony fx6 camera or sony burano camera you can skip this part and you can go to the part where i am setting up the menus of sony fx and Sony A7S3. To start with Sony FX6, what we need to do is we need to go to menus and scroll down till you see network and you click on network after that you need to click on setup for mobile app and then you click on setup. It will take 5 to 10 seconds and then it will be set up. This is the first thing. After that you scroll down and you come on wireless LAN. You go to settings, you turn it on and you go to station mode after that you will have to go to st mode settings click on it and then go on camera remote control and enable it after you have enabled it go down on scan network and execute it it will scan all the wi-fi networks in that area and you will have to select the network which you are gonna be so for me it is umar dit zte 5g which is my router i will click on this and after that i will have to go down to the password and click on it and now i will have to put my password now if you are setting up four cameras it's gonna be a bit of hassle if your wi-fi password is a bit weird so try to make it a very easy password like for me i have put it 11111 all the way so i don't have to be checking that the password is right or not so i put my password here and then i'm gonna click on done and then i'm gonna go down and click on connect after that it will take like 5 to 10 seconds and then it will give me a confirmation that it's been connected. We are done setting up our Sony FX6. Let's go to our app and connect it. Now before connection make sure that your iPad's Wi-Fi is connected to the same router as your camera. So I open my monitor and control app and first of all what I need to do is I need to click on this multi camera monitoring. So when I click on it it will open this page and you can see our FX6 is there. When I click on connect it is showing me this that you have to scan a QR code or something. So what I will do is I will go on the menus of my Sony FX6 and I will go to setup and I will go to setup for mobile app and I will click on setup for mobile app and then it will show me a QR code which my iPad will scan and it will be connected after that. that there you go. Now we are done with setting up Sony FX6. It's gonna be the same for Sony Burano. And if you are having smaller cameras like Sony FX3 or A7S3 or A7R or all these cameras, then for that, I'm gonna show you the settings now. So what we do is, so we open the menus and we go down to the network. After that, click on network and open Wi-Fi. First of all, if the Wi-Fi is on, just turn it off and I'll tell you why. So turn it off, go down, and then click on network options after you click on network options you have to go to access authentication settings and turn it off why because if it's turned on and you are connected through your wi-fi and everything is done when you will open it on your app and you will try to connect it it will ask you for a new password and a new username which is gonna make you feel crazy so it's a very good step to do it now and turn it off so it doesn't ask you for any of authentication so i will just open it and turn it off and then i will confirm it now i will go back i will turn on my wi-fi i will scroll down and after that i will click on access point 
endpoint set and it will search for Wi-Fi network same as Sony FX6. I will click on my desired network. I will put the password and I will connect. There you go. It's telling me it's completed. So we are done with connecting the Wi-Fi. After this, you will be thinking that it should show on my iPad now because the Wi-Fi is connected, but it will not. There is one more thing which you need to do before it shows on your iPad. So what is that? Let's just go back to the network settings and in network settings, go to connection and remote shooting and here go on remote shoot function and in remote function, you need to turn it on and now it should show on your iPad. As you can see, it will search and there you go. Now, before you click on connect, just go to your camera screen and under remote shooting, click on pairing and then go to your iPad screen and click on connect. When you will do that, it will give a pop up on your camera screen and you will say, OK, and there you go. Your FX3 is connected as well. So in this video, I didn't want to show you that what this app can do, but I really wanted to solve the problem of how you can get all these cameras on your iPad because I had a lot of trouble doing this. I took two straight days just to figure out how really it can be very, very smooth. And I have made many more helpful videos like this for Sony users and every camera users as well. In case you are interested, you can just follow along on my channel. And I hope this video was helpful for you as well. In case it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Thank you so much.